So guys, in the last video I talked about if you guys want to see a video on how to change your stick, that's your own shape. But one of you guys commented that you want to see the video, so I thought why not make a video. But before that guys, next week is not going to be a video. I need to fix some issues with my PC. I'm not 100% sure what the problem is. I think it's my graphics card. So I'm going to clean up my graphics card and cleanly install it. So basically what the problem is, if I go into the item shop or play some other certain games, for some reason it goes to 100% fan speed. I don't know what the problem is, maybe it's the temperature. But no, now you just turned off from my PC. But when I go into the item shop... And preview, let's say this import, and I wait a little bit, it just starts going absolute mayhem. So I hope you guys can hear that, but that's the problem. So that's why next week it won't be a video. But first, let's start off with basically what's your stick dash on say. Basically, on PS4 and uh, Xbox 360, all the sticks have a certain shape where they take inputs from. So basically, you always start off with a cross. But uh, if you want to change your shape, it basically allows you to do certain things. For example, I'm now on square. What that basically allows is to really quickly change my angles and basically allows me to turn faster and allows me to do really quick aerial rotations. So that's basically why I wanted to do it. And I already got pretty good with it. Last video I was really new to it. It was the first time playing actually with this preset. But I already got into Champ 2. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got into um, Champ 2 and uh, Diamond 2. So that's pretty good. But anyway, let's get to my desktop and show you how it's done. So guys, we're now on my desktop. So the first thing you obviously need to do is plug in your controller. Be careful. The only thing that worked for me is with a micro USB cable, plug it directly into my motherboard. I tried it with the USB up in front of my PC case. It didn't work. I tried it with my uh, USB port at the back of my keyboard. It also didn't work. It also didn't work with Bluetooth. So if you guys actually made it work with those other methods, leave a comment in the comment section down below so you can help some other people out. So let's just connect the controller. And if everything is right, you should hear sound and it's connected, right? So there. Then you need to do is go to the top left where it says Steam. Click on this, go to settings and it should pop up this menu. Then go to controller and say it's narrow controller settings. Double click this, it should open the big picture menu. And then it says uh, guide button focus Steam. Click on that and also click on PlayStation configura uh, configuration support. It depends on what kind of control you have. If you have an extra controller, you need to click this one. And if you have a Switch Pro controller, click this one. It also detects the controllers here. Just double, just click on that for, to make certain that it actually registers to your account right here. Then you can just close this off. And if everything works correctly, and I need to refresh my library again, real quick, come on. Like normally it should pop there, should pop three dots. But for some reason it just doesn't want to work right now. So let's just do that again. Real simple, yeah. It should actually work right now, right? Yeah, there we, uh, there we go. So now you have these three dots right here. What you then need to do is click on this and it says controller configuration. Click on that and it should open this menu. What you now see here is all the settings you can change. You can change the entire button layout. You can change your sticks. For example, you can change your uh, stick moves and everything else. It's really nice and really well done by Steam. So because I'm playing rock click, it's my left stick. So click your left stick, click additional settings. And right here is your uh, dead zone shape. And for me, it's squared, but normally it would stand on cross. So change to squared and you're done. You can also change to circle. What for me is kind of weird, but here it just says a maximum value way quicker. So you turn actual quicker with the setting so then close it out and you're done the cool thing about this system and how they've done it is every single game on steam that has this icon right here in the splash art that says full controller support it works on so that's amazing right so anyway guys that was your boy tweetex and i see you guys and i see you guys in the next video that's maybe next week otherwise the week after that so anyway guys peace